棒球运动喺香港唔算流行，但系街头服饰都几受欢迎。以棒球帽起家嘅 New Era 近年加强佢潮牌嘅形象，更加以社交媒体宣传同埋全渠道销售，吸引年轻人。The DNA or the foundation of the New Era company is we are the biggest and what I think is the best headwear company in the world since 1920. We've been handcrafting the finest quality headwear that money can buy, and we basically use that platform and share that out those ideals on everything that we do, whether it's headwear, apparel, accessories. Everything that we deliver to the consumer is done with quality, craftsmanship, and good service. 早于上世纪 ，New Era 已经明白产品不能够单一，为拓展市场，推出多种棒球帽款式，例如 Fifty Nine Fifty， 今年已经踏入七十周年。And what makes the Fifty Nine Fifty so unique is this has basically become the standard baseball cap for professional baseball players. As you can see, it's not adjustable. It's totally fitted, meaning you need to know your headwear size in order to wear this cap. But really, the the fun part of the story is this cap has now become sort of the accepted must-have, you know, accessory in the world of fashion and red carpets and some of the biggest music stages you'll see in the world. The biggest reason, of course, is because of the comfortable fit, but also more so. Has become it becomes a billboard, right? To showcase and display for the world who you are and what you might represent. What were we going to do? Because really, there wasn't a lot of baseball fans here. But the really cool thing about New Era in the U.S. is there is an aspect to the brand that is more, let's say, catering to lifestyle and streetwear culture. We're more accepted. By let's say fashion-driven people, we collaborate with a lot of cool, let's say celebrities or bands or other local brands throughout the region. It was really important for us to take the ideals of the brand, have the finest quality baseball cap, but really utilize it in a way that's more localized and really had let's say a relationship with the local consumer. New Era 喺美國甚少營運零售店，但嚟到棒球文化比較弱嘅亞洲地區，就要有所改變。And so over the years we've developed, I think the number is over 600 stores now. When you look at the Asia Pacific region, you know a lot of the stores are in China, but when you look at, let's say, the Greater China and Southeast Asia region, we have over 150 stores now, and some of them are quite sizable. And in order to really fill out A thousand square feet of real estate, we had to develop more than just headwear, and so we've developed a full range of apparel. We have accessories like backpacks and cap cleaning kits and things of that nature. To where now the business, it's almost fifty-fifty. It's only fifty-five percent of our business is headwear. The balance is something else besides headwear. 不过市场不断改变，尤其系生于数码时代嘅二色世代更难捉摸。I think some of the biggest challenges for us here in Asia is really keeping up with the modern-day retail consumer.、Um, you know, you think about modern-day consumer. Let's call them Gen Z as an example. Somebody born in the years of Generation Z were born into the internet, right? They've never lived a day without a smartphone in their pocketbook or their pocket in general. So, how we keep up with that modern-day consumer is. We've had to build a, somewhat of a robust digital team in our headquarters here in Hong Kong, and we have people now looking constantly at social media, looking at hashtags, and making sure we understand what consumers are asking for. Making sure we understand the trends, and we know we have a lot of improvement to do there. But that's really what we're going to be focusing on, right? Is having a complete omni-channel solution for that modern-day consumer. 今集营商有计，武式品牌屹立百年，胜在传统融合潮流。